Killingly Wideout, Noah Colangelo. Yes, that's right, a wideout is the Foxwoods player of the game at Killingly High School. What was going through your mind when your quarterback put that ball up in the air and you were running free? Uh, the play, the few plays before, I landed right on my back. You know, I was down for a few minutes, but I wanted to get right back up and get in the game. I literally told my co coach Neely I wanted to go back in. We called that play because it, it was open the previous play before. Just caught it. You know, I was expecting to be open. I was just went right in the end zone. You know, typical Killingly game. The ball goes in the air maybe four or five times tonight. You had to throw it a little bit more. Rare opportunity for you. Do you think this team showed its versatility tonight as being, you know, I know you're RPO, but ball's in the air tonight? Uh, absolutely. You know, Bloomfield's a great team. They stopped our run pretty well, and that's when Coach Neal decided we had to pass the ball a little bit more. And I know I know he's confident in me, Ben, Thomas, you know, catching the ball, and it worked out really, really well tonight. So early in the game, it was apparent that they were going to do everything they could to stop Soren Reef. You know, he, uh, most teams try to do that. They had some success. And on the other side of things, they did a real good job moving the ball, took some time to adjust. What were some of the adjustments that needed to be made to their quickness when you guys were on defense? Uh, our corners, we just had to make open field tackles. You know, they're, they're insanely quick. You know, when they get in open field, it's really dangerous to tackle them. But we did it. You know, there's a couple plays, you know, they broke it off, but we – we had a meeting as a D, and you know we locked him down at the end. I'd say that uh, Dryboltz throw is one of the most catchable balls I've ever seen. It floats out there. You're running free. That ball hits your hands. You're in the end zone. You guys have won a lot of big games. Rank this win for you in your career. Yeah, I think this might got to be. I think this has to be number one, man. I mean, the state championship that was a great win, but keeping this home streak alive against a really good team, that's nothing's going to beat that. Fourth in the state, still undefeated. They come back tonight down two scores to beat Bloomfield at home. Noah Colangelo is the Foxwoods player of the game.